What is going on YouTube? Dad with a bike and it is a beautiful day here in Austin, Texas and I figured we'd get out and go do some riding. I have absolutely nowhere to go and uh, while we're on this little trip I figured I'd uh, catch you all up on this 10C Evo that I am rocking as my new motor vlog setup and uh, we'll talk through it and I'll give you all some of my uh, goods and the bads and all that good stuff so stick around and uh, we'll talk about it. Alright y'all, thanks for sticking around and uh, do me a solid if you just stumbled across this video, uh, maybe YouTube algorithms brought you here, you like the uh, title, whatever the case may be, hit that subscribe and if you like it, hit that like and if you want to see more like this, go ahead and ding that notification bell. I do uploads, uh, normally vloggy things once a week. I throw some shorts in there, maintenance tips, rides, all kinds of stuff. So uh, pretty good stuff. So anyway, the uh, 10C Evo, let's talk about that a bit. So I moved away from your typical standard GoPro, like, you know, in on, on the front of my chin camera setup, primarily because of the helmets that I'm using now. I'm using uh, Ruhrock helmet, so I'm sporting the Ruhrock Berserker, and I've got a Ruhrock Atlas 3.0 coming. And I didn't want something hanging on my chin. And actually, as I was kind of out riding and doing much longer rides and stuff like that, having something hanging on my chin was, I don't know, I didn't like it. So, looking around, looking around, I ran across a, uh, a vlog that was done by Salty and Sprinkles. They're a um, motor vlog and couple, uh, couple that is out of Aust uh, Houston, if I can speak. And they moved over to this setup and I thought, you know what, I'll give that a shot because the 10C Evo has the camera integrated with the Senna itself and uh, you know it's a helmet side or it's a side helmet mount so i figured different perspective uh, give it a shot it does a really good job with video um, it's got all kinds of different supported formats uh, and you can go into a phone app and you can configure all the different formats i'll throw all the video formats that it supports up here somewhere uh, but i record in 1080p at 60 frames per second just as a standard and then I do a lot more uh, post-processing whenever I'm monkeying with the videos so 1080p or 1080 by uh, at 620 is works pretty well for me the camera itself is you know really easy to manipulate and one of the reasons why I really liked it is the camera's got like on the side or on the top of it just one single button push the single button boom starts recording and the camera itself has a lot of different recording options and some of those recording options are pretty cool you know you can do uh, or not time lapse but you can do um, uh, I forget the I'll throw them all in there somewhere but there's the, the, mo the methods are like continuous running so it'll run, and if the uh, card is filled up, then it will overwrite, so it can keep in this continuous loop. And then it has video tagging, so it will let you uh, hit the button, and it will like go back in time 60 seconds, and then record 60 more seconds, and then so on. So how however video tagging works, I don't know. I'm not a camera guru, <coughs> but kind of cool stuff um, and as you're cruising along if you want to just take a picture of whatever it is that you're seeing you just reach up hit that one button that's on the top of the uh, the Senna and Bob's your uncle and it works just like every other Senna uh, does so you know it's got you know groups I think it supports up to either four or eight I'll, I'll throw the specifics you know in here somewhere all the details about the uh, camera kind of or not the camera but the Cine itself and what it supports but all in all it's you know it's a great Cine it's really low profile it's got a nice big jog handle for me to uh, mess with volume and stuff like that so all in all 
from a center perspective, it's pretty good. Uh, I've not been able to monkey with the camera a whole lot other than just take some basic videos. And from a basic video perspective, that works pretty well. It's not a super awesome... Not a super awesome quality-wise as a GoPro. Actually, I take that back. It is. Um, you just can't manipulate like all the cool settings that you can like in a GoPro with the uh, ProTune settings which is no big deal because I did my basic ProTunes and that was it so you can get into the app that you install on your phone and you can monkey with things like microphone gain uh, and that sort of thing the major downside that I've got so far with uh, video recording into the Cine is that they've separated the camera audio I think you know somehow they did it with with whatever channels they're using but they separated the camera audio from intercom so all the cool super awesome noise canceling stuff that you get with the uh, intercom isn't there for video so you've got to do a really good job at main you know at managing your wind noise and I'm still messing with it so even this video is probably gonna have some crappy wind issues I'm trying to take it easy um, but you know I'm trying to figure out how best to sort that out not so much gain as it is just the all-around noise because my helmet is like true open face because I wear a uh, the Rurock Berserker and uh, I don't have a windshield on or windscreen on uh, or face shield well, I'll get it right I have a face shield and I'm not wearing the goggles usually I suspect if I put the goggles on then it'd be a lot better but what I'm trying to do is figure out how to manage the wind while still rocking the helmet like I wanted to rock it now I think whenever I get the uh, Atlas 3.0 you know, all those issues will go away because I have the visor. But I still want to sort this out, wind noise-wise, with the Berserker because I really like the Berserker. So anyway, I'm playing with some different stuff right now. I've got the boom mic set up, and uh, I've got it. I've got the mic itself actually double wrapped. I've got some microfiber cloth wrapped around it, and then I have the foam. Uh, you know, wind sock over the top of that, and I'm hoping that's going to cut down on a lot of wind noise. You know, but we'll see. Uh, it's a uh, it's a gamble, but I hope it all works because what I'm trying to get accomplished is, you know, I want something that's off to the side of my head. I don't want anything on my chin anymore. I want it integrated with my uh, my Senna. I don't want a whole bunch of crap hanging off my helmet because it's just it's tiresome after a while when you uh, ride long distance. And I want a simpler setup. So if all those things are true, this uh, Senna, this 10 Evo could be, uh, you know, could be the cat's meow. I don't know. Um, I'm hoping it is. But we'll see. At any rate, um, my initial review of this is it's a Senna. Sennas are great great on comms the video quality is great you get an app that you can use to manage a lot of the stuff um, I did a couple of videos already the post-processing of the videos they turned out pretty solid so I'm assuming stabilization and stuff like that is built in so that's pretty solid and uh, the only thing that I am fighting with right now is is audio but I'll get that sorted I think um, so you know right now you know, I think I give this thing a good thumbs up. I think it might accomplish what I want it to do once I get my wind noise stuff sorted. And I will, uh, I'll come back to the class and let y'all know what I find out, you know, or how it all unfolds with managing this wind. Hopefully it, uh, hopefully it turns out to be a, a easy modification. <clears throat> Maybe this um, stuff I did with this, uh, boom mic to go and double wrap it if you will uh, may uh, solve my problem so 
That being said, I'm going to cut it off here. Y'all have a good one. Y'all take it easy. And uh, be safe. And be kind to one another. And we'll see you next time. Peace.